Hey guys, welcome to Critical Beauty. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button and the bell icon below so you will get notified automatically for the next video. Also, please follow me on Instagram at Critical Beauty Official where I post stuff that nobody else will. So the big news is that former Mission Universe organization President Paula Shugart, who resigned from her post last November, released a statement on her Instagram on February 18th addressing the allegations against her made by MEO owner Ann Jakra Jutadip, who had posted defamatory posts against Paula on her ex account. Anne alleges that Paula is corrupt and that Paula had taken money under the table to rig the results of the contest. And because of these unfounded allegations, Paula is considering taking legal action against Anne. The Post has generated strong reactions from fans, most of whom support Paula. So many past Mission Universe organization title holders expressed their support for Paula, such as the two former Miss Universes from Mexico, first with Lupita Jones, who simply tells Paula that she is a professional and a lady and that light will defeat darkness. Miss Universe 2010 Jimena Navarrete says that Paula's work has always been clean and that Paula guided the Miss Universe organization with elegance, respect, fairness, transparency, and order. Miss Universe 2016, Iris Mitna, praises Paula for her integrity, intelligence, and honor. She also says that Paula did not work for Miss Universe, she lived for Miss Universe. Miss USA 2015, Olivia Jordan, expresses her disappointment that anyone would discredit the legacy that Paula worked so hard to protect. And she praises Paula for protecting all the winners during her tenure as president. Miss USA 2005, Chelsea Cooley Clark was blunt and honest enough to say that she never liked the new owner, meaning Anne, because Anne is not the ideal professional role model for the organization as she constantly rants on social media and she has a total lack of character. Miss USA 2003, Susie Castillo wrote a lengthy post praising Paula for being a good mentor to all the women who have competed in the Miss Universe organization, win or lose. She also applauds Paula for speaking up and thinks that the allegations are absurd. Miss USA 1998, Shonae Jebia, and Miss USA 2014, Nia Sanchez, and Miss Universe 2002, Justin Pasek, also have nothing but good words to say about Paula. Miss Universe 1997, Brooke Lee posted on her Instagram story a graphic with Paula's image, the hashtag truth, and the caption that reads, and the 25 sister title holders who have been disrespected by ridiculous and unfounded allegations while tagging the Instagram accounts of all 25 Miss Universe title holders. Miss Universe 1975 from Finland, Anne Podemo, who probably has never met Paula in person, commented on Brooke's post and said that Paula is always a force for good and a person who is wholeheartedly passionate about her work. Anne tells Brooke that she is bothered by a lot of baseless messages requiring her to tell which side she's on. And lastly, Miss Oregon USA 1994 Denise White, who judged Miss Universe 2023 finals, praises Paula but gives the harshest words against Anne. She says that Anne will kill the brand just by her actions. It will have to burn to be saved. It's unfortunate that all of your hard work over all these years is being defamed due to a woman that is insecure and corrupt herself. She doesn't know how to pay her bills or run a company without having to claim bankruptcy. 
She also warns Anne to be careful how to proceed from now on and that we have Paulus back. So in her statement that has now gone viral, Paula mentions that she is presently considering her legal options in Thailand and what actions she might take. I actually commented that Thai defamation laws are taken seriously and that I hope she pursues a lawsuit against Anne in Thailand and I'm sure she will win. Defamation is considered a crime in Thailand and is punishable by jail sentence and a huge fine, which could potentially bankrupt Anne for the second time. Or is it the third time? Or fourth? Anyway, ever since Paula posted her statement a few days ago, I rarely see any posts defending Anne, have you? So when I went to her Facebook page today, I, I did see that my comment was still up there. I wrote, get ready to be sued by Paula Shugart. And at least six people liked my comment, but I'm surprised that Anne has not blocked me from her Facebook like she had done from Instagram. And four days after Paula's statement, Anne has curiously been very quiet about it. You know what, I think she's running scared and now that she's aware that if she says anything critical about Paula again without any basis whatsoever, her number of enemies will exponentially grow to the point that she will feel totally defeated and destroyed. Now, of course, she could still, you know, take back everything that she said about Paula and apologize to Paula. But seriously, I think it's too late. I and mean, I think as Anne is too much of an egotistical and narcissistic person that she thinks she's always right and that her opinion, no matter how absurd or outrageous it may be, is always justified. So what's going to happen now that Anne has further tarnished the Miss Universe brand with her latest rants? I mean, you know, we're not talking about shallow and simplistic rants. We're talking about rants designed to slander and defame a woman who is the president of the Miss Universe organization for 22 years and apparently has a stellar reputation as suggested by the title holders who support and love her. I think it will all boil down to what the legal courts decide which will probably take a while. I mean, no, what are your thoughts? Do you think Paula will win the lawsuit against Anne? Do you think Anne will come to her senses and apologize to Paula? Or even if she does, do you think it's too late because the damage has already been done? What do you think? Comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next time. Bye.